Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. In this video, we're going to show a small patio. This is a good one to start on for beginners. Uh, there's an existing patio here already that's pretty low. So instead of taking it out, we're just going to uh, pour right over the top of it. We're going to extend it out a little bit further. So this new concrete's going to go out beyond where the old one went. So a portion of, a portion of the patio will be on concrete and then some of it will be on the dirt. So now we've set the forms up. It's a real simple three-sided form job. It's a 12 by 16 foot. So basically I had bought a 16 foot 2 by 4 and a couple 12 footers when you just throw them in. We've got about one and a half percent slope from the house to the outside edge so the water is going to drain away from the house. Then we're going to put some rebar over the concrete. A lot of times when you pour over concrete and then portion of its dirt, um, the new concrete will want to crack right at the edge of where the old concrete stopped. So you put the rebar all the way through and across overlapping that um, old concrete and then it won't crack there so I'm gonna wet it real heavy on the dirt side of this because that's where the water is gonna try to absorb out of the concrete into the dirt and this will help um, dry it a little even a little more even because on top of that concrete it's gonna dry a little slower because all the water in the concrete has to go up So this concrete mix design we're using here is a 3000 PSI and it's a pea gravel. We have fiber mesh in it. Now if you were just pouring this alone you could potentially wheelbarrow this from the um, backyard if you have the space through the side yards. In this case uh, we didn't have access through the side yards. So it had to be pumped or you can mix it in the backyard by hand something of this size but we're pouring a little bit in the front too so we just got it all on one but I mean if you really wanted to do a little home patio by yourself this is a good place to start on something like this size maybe even a little smaller So after we rotted it off, we ran the uh, three and a half foot magnesium bowl float over it. Now what you'll want to do after this point is either cut your joints we're going to put one joint through the middle so it's going to be right at 8 feet. So we're going to have two sections and they're going to be 8 feet by 12 foot each section with that one joint in there. Then we ran a half inch radius edge around the whole perimeter. You can use a three quarter or quarter inch. Half inch is pretty common standard. Now as it gets drier and you lose all that bleed water off the top, then you can go ahead and uh, run your Fresno and um, other trowels. Now we had to uh, do a broom on this a little early on the outside edge where we didn't have concrete under it because it dries quicker. So we broomed the whole edge and we had to wait, wait on the middle a little bit. Also, if you're not going to be home or around after you pour a job like this to um, keep the concrete wet with the water hose, you'll want to use a uh, concrete curing compound and that helps uh, hold the moisture in the concrete so it dries a little more slowly and you have less chance of uh, shrinkage cracks. 
So here's the concrete cure I just spray on here with a little $10 garden sprayer. Now I had to stop spraying because see that shade tree over there? That's uh, slowing the concrete down right in that corner. Sun makes a big difference on concrete for dry time. So that's something you always want to consider when you're pouring concrete. Since I, I oiled all these forms up with my um, standard used motor oil, I can strip these off the same day without any problem. Vegetable oil, I've heard of people using that, diesel fuel, a lot of different things out there to break that concrete bond on your wood and what have you. So there it is. There's a perfect beginner slab if anybody wants to get it on old school style. Don't forget if you're gonna do it, you're not sure you're gonna do it very much of it Try to get your tools at maybe a pawn shop or garage sale something like that Just check them for being straight not a lot of dings in them. Thanks for watching if you like it subscribe and uh, If you have any questions or comments go ahead and contact me. Thank you